In this video, we're going to cover how to use SharePoint Designer to collect data from a user during a workflow. The first step is to open your site inside of SharePoint Designer. Once you have it opened, you can click on File, New, Workflow. That's going to bring up the Workflow Designer. The next step would be to give your workflow a name. In this case, we're going to create a document review workflow. We're going to attach this to our shared documents library. We're going to uncheck the manual start and only have this workflow started when a new item is created. We'll click on next and move on to the actions and conditions. We're going to click on actions here and we're going to collect data from a user. Now here in the action, we're going to click on the hyperlink data going to bring up the custom task wizard. We're going to hit next. In the name, we're going to put document review. In the description, we're just going to type a short message. This message is just going to tell the reviewer to take a look at the document and take their action on it. Click the next button. Now we need to customize the form fields that we want for this task. We're going to click the add button. We're going to add a new field called review status. We need to give a description that's going to be used in the list item form. We also need to set what type it is. We'll click Next. Since we had selected it as a choice field, we have a multi-line text box that we can use to enter our choices. We'll make it simple and just give the user two choices. We won't fill in a default value, and we'll keep the display as a drop-down. However, we will not allow blank values. We'll go ahead and click Finish. As an optional field, we're going to go ahead and add a Reviewer Comments field, where we'll ask the reviewer for any comments that they have. We'll change this type to Multiple Lines of Text, and we'll click Next. We have no default value. We will allow blank values and allow rich HTML. We'll also allow enhanced rich HTML and we'll click Finish. Now that we've got our two custom fields, we're going to go ahead and click Finish. Now that we've got our custom data collection, we need to assign a user for this. In this case, we're going to use the Approver SharePoint group. Click OK. Now that we've set the data to collect and the users that are going to input it, we need to select an output. We're going to create a new variable, going to give it a name, we'll give it a name of document review ID, and we'll leave the type as a list item ID. We'll click OK. We've got our variable now. Now that we have our document review variable, we need to do something with it. So we're going to set workflow variable. Here we're going to create a new variable. We're going to create a review status variable. The type will be string. We're going to set it to a source of tasks, because that's where the task item will be created. We're going to use a field of review status. We're going to find the list item by using tasks ID. The value we're going to get from workflow data, and our document review ID. Click OK, and we'll set it. We're going to set another workflow variable. We're going to create a new one. Review comments. Type will be a string. The value will be from the source of tasks. The field will be review comments. Again, we'll grab it from the task ID and we'll use workflow data document review ID in order to grab that and we'll click OK. Now that we have our workflow variables set, we can go ahead and add a new step to use them. Now we have step two. We're going to create a new condition. Condition is going to be based on any data source. We're going to use the data binding to look up workflow data review status, 
click OK. Review status is a choice. We only had two items that they could choose, one of which was approved, which is what we're going to check to see if the review status is approved. We'll create an LCIF conditional branch. Again, we'll compare against any data source. And we'll set it to the workflow data review status. And in this case, we want to check against rejected. Now we can set a set of actions. We'll send an email. The email will go to the user who created this item. We'll go ahead and send the title as the subject and simply say the document has been approved. And we'll click OK. And in the case of the rejected, we'll send another email. Again, we'll send it to the user who created the item. We'll set the subject to the document title. And we'll type a message. We'll add a lookup to the body, which will include the workflow data and the reviewer's comments. Click OK to set it. Then we can go ahead and hit Finish. As you can see, it's going ahead and saving the workflow to the site. And the new document review workflow has been created.